Brian Powell of I Run Far here with Ellie Greenwood, the 2011 Western States Montana champ. How are you doing today, Ellie? Not bad, not bad. Yeah, the, uh, I say I'm not quite sure how the legs feel because the blisters hurt, so that's making walking difficult. But uh, all things considered, I'm feeling pretty good. Today. Excellent. Yeah, I just saw you running across the infield here, and that was quite a sprint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The legs are moving, so uh, not too bad altogether. So yeah. you should be good to go in a little bit. Uh, how, how do you feel about your race yesterday? How, tell us how it went. Um, it was very tough. It was very tough. Um, how did, how did, tell us about the, like, the first 15, 20 miles of that. Uh, the first 15, 20 miles were so-so. And uh, yeah, I started to get into a little trouble. Like I always have problematic hamstrings. They were hurting. My glutes were hurting. And I wouldn't have been so concerned, but I'm like, this is a 100 mile race. So if they're hurting this much early on. So that was a little concerning. I, those then got a little better and uh, then my stomach went so yeah um when was so that? i came into michigan bluff uh delighted that finally we got to see crew because of course with the snow course yeah. that was the first chance to see them um and promptly vomited in front of my crew so that Excellent. didn't help but then that sorted the stomach and yeah definitely the second half of the race i mean it wasn't you know 100 percent, but i felt absolutely way better than the first yeah. half how did you uh, fix the uh, the the leg issue um, I have to say I resorted to Tylenol. Um, I know it's not ideal, but I think, you know, if you're in a race, it's not like if you're just out for a training run. Yeah. And yeah, a couple of Tylenol throughout yeah. the course. And as long as you're staying, you know you're staying hydrated, right? Exactly. You're you don't staying, do it if you're... No, and I was still eating and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So yeah, 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 taking it careful. Yeah. So walk us through the second half. Where were you like, so you came through Michigan Bluff, I puked. came through Michigan <laughs> Bluff, I puked. I was in six at that point. Um, by the time I got to Forest Hill, um, I'd caught back up with Nikki Kimball. Mm -hmm. um, I passed her coming through the Forest Hill aid station when I picked up my pacer. And very shortly after coming out of Forest Hill, I passed Anita. Um, so then I'd moved into fourth. Mm -hmm. And that, that was pretty encouraging, right? Of like, okay, so maybe things are getting back on track here. So yeah. 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 And then, so you were, did you stay in the sort of third, fourth? Or we... uh, I'm trying to remember the order of things, you know, how they get but... confused. Um, yes, I pretty much stayed there. I can't remember when I moved into third position. Yeah. I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah. And then tell us about the fun or about, about the incident that really shook up the entire race at the end of the race. The, 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 the bear? The bear, yes, <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, it was quite well. I came through Highway 49 in third place. Uh, by the time I got to no hands, I'd taken the lead. Um, but I just passed both Tracy and, uh, sorry, yeah, Cammy. And Cammy was still, I was like, you know, she might be chasing me. So I'm running as hard as I can. Um, I've passed a guy as well. I'm going along the trail. And of course it's dark by this point. So I've got my flashlight in my hand and I'm like, oh, there's just some eyes. And then I saw this massive black hump in the middle of the trail. I'm like, oh, good. it's a bear. So, um, of course, you know, I live in Banff and, you know, there's bears around, but of course I didn't think to bring my bear spray with me to Western States, no. right? So I shouted and it kind of looked up, but didn't go anywhere too much. So I thought, well, I'm going to have to wait, but I'm also like, oh my goodness, like Cavi's like gaining on me for every second that I stand still. Um, and then fortunately the person behind me was a guy and he said, well, we'll just shout. And we shouted and this bear ran up the tree and we ran past as quickly as possible. I had a little check over that it wasn't charging after us. Uh, and, so uh, let me get this straight. In route to winning the Western States 100, you treat a bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's <laughs> correct. I mean, and it wasn't looking too cautious, but at that point I was in such a race mode and, you know, it was like, well, there's two of us and, you know, what are you going to do? You can only eat one of you, right? In, in the sense, you're in the middle of, uh, of nowhere anyway, so you had to get out of there somehow. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, then coming out from where the trail goes up to uh, Robbie's Point, I was like... Uh, hollering all the way which of course it's not ideal at like 98 and a half miles to be running uphill hollering and worrying that someone might catch you yeah but uh added to the challenge right so, yes. yeah 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 and then you maybe just made a strong finish to the track yeah 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 i mean i'd say probably it was really from auburn lakes that i started to feel really good i'd got my stomach back on track um and i had leg speed probably because i'd been going slower for a while because mm. of my stomach and uh, yeah so from there on in really i was picking up the pace yeah excellent and have you heard at all uh, i think there's another set story with the bear uh, have you, i'm sure you've talked to cammy and yeah, uh, and yeah. nikki afterwards what what happened there 
I think they had to, well, they said they waited uh, until there was a group of them. So I guess they were delayed by maybe, I think Tammy was saying about seven minutes She or was. So. She, was in the, she was in second. Yes. And then Tracy and Nikki caught up Co to her. Caught up. Yeah, yeah. So they were all standing there with a bear on the trail that you had previously treat, you know. <laughs> well, I was just like, you know, you've got to go past it, right? I mean, it was yeah. either that or go back to no hands. And That's not an option. It wasn't really, and it felt safe enough. I mean, if it was really dangerous, of course, you wouldn't. So but. then they had the three-woman race from Roby Point yeah. to the finish. Yeah, I mean, and it was amazing to see, uh, of course, Cammy and Nikki coming down the track, like literally neck and neck. And it's, well, they call it the track meet, right? They and do, they definitely do. definitely was, so yeah. Yeah. So uh, this is your first 100 miler. What did you it think? Is, yeah, um, learning experience. Uh, but no, I I did overall enjoy it. Definitely, like once I got into the groove and was starting to feel better. So uh, yeah, I would like to try it again because of course the, any distance you run, you learn stuff the first yeah. time. Well, so what did you learn? Um, what's what's different than like 100k? Oh, I mean, it's it's just so much longer, right? Yeah. And uh, and I don't mean in terms of distance. I just think the time, right, of being out there. Um, yeah, I probably need to work on nutrition maybe to get that a little sorted, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, also I obviously learned that you can feel really bad early on in a race and 100 miles is long enough that you can work through that mm -hmm. and then have a recovery. So. That's, that's one of the most important lessons at 100 miles. Yeah. Is, it, not only you can, chances are you're going to you're going to have those bad patches. Yes. Everybody yeah. does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you, although you say, oh, I'll get out of it, when you actually experience that, you're like, okay, it, it does yeah. happen. So, yeah. so what's uh, next on the radar for you? Um, I haven't got too many trail races coming up. Um, I mean, I had comrades four weeks ago, then this, so I was like, oh, I didn't want to pile too many together. Um, so next big race is World 100K on the roads, uh, start of September in the Netherlands. So, Excellent. Well, yeah. congratulations on your win yesterday, you and uh, good luck at the 100K. Congratulations on your run. Thank you. <laughs>